As our state continues to grow, so too do the number of children who are in desperate need of a foster home. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky introduces us to a family who began fostering five years ago. The Haynes household is a busy one. <laughs> I think we always thought we would probably adopt at some point. Foster care wasn't on the radar until it was. In 2015, Lacey and Clint say they really learned about the need for foster families. We just heard and we're like, we were naive. You know, we were like, oh, we could do that. Before their son Oliver was born, they had already opened their home. We started with zero to seven. And so we immediately got four boys that were like, three to eight. Nine foster kids later, they welcomed a teenager named Quincy into their house. I was 17 and I've been to like a bajillion foster homes at this point and I was told this is my last one so I got like had to make it work you know and um, I didn't really have high expectations and you know high hopes. Instead he had little hope in the system. I gave up. <laughs> I was being honest. I was um, after like a few foster homes I kind of just like stopped believing there was the placement that was going to be the one for me and the family that was going to adopt me. But something at the Haynes household was different. Being here, I felt like what it should have been like for a long time. Quincy came in and he instantly, honestly, just like suited our family so well. We all attached to each other very quickly and kind of just started to feel like a family really quick. A connection Youth Villages helped prepare the Haynes family for. There are plenty of children who need adoptive parents, but there are more children that need a, a stepping stone to getting from one point to the next. Right now here in Tennessee, there are nearly 7,000 kids living with a foster family or waiting on placement with a foster family. Although this state has about 5,000 families fostering, they say they're in need of hundreds more that can feel intimidating or scary to get involved with, but most of the time these are just regular families that need somebody to help while they are getting back on their feet or um, you know, taking care of something that they are struggling with. The Haynes family ultimately decided to adopt Quincy, a mutual decision that Quincy says changed the trajectory of his life. I wasn't sure I was gonna graduate high school. I didn't really believe in myself and they really gave me the motivation to finish and you know, now I'm a junior in college, so it's it's, it's definitely crazy. I'm, I'm very happy. A happiness he hopes other kids can find through other foster families opening their homes for the right reasons. Helping a kid that is looking for a home or somebody to you know, put their trust in. A reliable, safe place and person. There isn't one demographic that's a perfect foster parent or family. We've seen single people that are great foster parents. We've seen empty nesters that are great foster families. Families with no children, with young children, with grown or high school age children. Uh, so there's no demographic that's perfect, uh, but it, it could be a perfect situation for you. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5. That should give us all encouragement. Now, while there is a fostering need for children of all ages, we're told there is a significant need for teenagers right now. For information about becoming a foster family, click on this story on our website.